And hello everyone and welcome to the Retro Gaming Junction. This is Camilio and tonight we're going to play a wasteland. So let's start this up right now, boom. Um I'm gonna show you something first. Uh, I'm gonna do a new game. And I'm Type in this because I already made my characters. Because how how will you make the characters in this game? I'll just show you that, and then we'll go with the story and all. So I'll just show you how we create characters into the location. Yes. So these are the characters you have at the beginning. You can use them. I guess they're fine. But who does that really? Um. So, you have to delete them all. I'll delete one. I'll just show you. Uh, create. Okay, so each time I press space, it just rolls again. Immediately. There's no saving, there's nothing. You can't change any of the stats, you can't move anything. Actually, these stats are pretty. Uh, no, because of the decks. But yeah, this could be a someone decent character. Uh, what's important is the IQ, the IQ, and dexterity, I guess. Um, the rest isn't that important, but IQ is very important. Oh, Max Khan is. Oh, this is a very good character. So essentially, I did that <laughs> a bunch of times until I got something that I thought was decent. So now we'll do we'll we'll load that game. Uh, oh, I just want to show you if I accept this. So I accept this guy. Boom. Uh, whatever. Best. You choose the sex. You choose the nationality. And then um, this is how you have your skill points. So he, he had uh, twelve IQ. So I have access to. Uh, all the skills, uh, combat shooting, confidence, sleight of hand, but there are other skills at 13 IQ or 14 or something. It goes to maybe 20 IQ, the skills. Uh, but he only has access to this, so that's why IQ is important. But IQ is also important because it gives you um, the skill points. So when you boost IQ throughout the game, it'll give you skill points. So if my IQ is 12, I use all my skill points here, I have zero skill points left, and then uh, I, I, I at level up, I buy one IQ point, I'll have one uh, skill point that I can use. I can't use it like immediately, I think you have to go to a library or something like that. So if I want to put points in brawling, I press one, and then if I want to put brawling at level two, um, it'll cost me two points, boom and so on. So eventually I can't even get to level uh, 4. But I could get climb, pistol, knife, pugilism, rifle, you get you get, you get, get the idea. No. Oh. So now I'm gonna show you the character I created because that is a pain in the ass process. Like space, 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 space. And you can't really do anything else at the same time. No, I, I just loaded the same game. Because you have to focus on the IQ. If the IQ is uh, usually above uh, 14, I started to look at the other stats. I can't even remember exactly what were the stats, but I remember they were pretty good. I thought, maybe they were not. <laughs> that, just that roll there. <laughs> Anyway, Wasteland, I'm going to read the little excerpt here. Written by Alan Pavlish, IBM version by Michael Clark Carls. Earth, 1998, DEFCON 1. Diplomatic solutions to the world's problem fail, and the war erupts as some madmen press ahead with their insane plan. High concentration of radiation produced random storms and mutations. Somehow life continues in the Wasteland. I think that's it, but I'm going to read the manual. Is this it? 
think it is, yeah. In the manual, it says, The following is an excerpt from the history of the Desert Rangers from the, the early years by Carl Allard, 2087. Allard Press, Ranger Center, Albaum, page 293, 20, $20 gold, it says. But there's a dollar sign. Not 20 gold, it's $20 gold. Tensions grew with the coming of 1998. The United States... Oh, this game was made in... Well, it was essentially made in 87. It came out in January... Uh, January 2 of 88. Tension grew with the coming of 1988. 1998. The United States Citadel Superstar... Star Let's start back again. Tensions grew with the coming of 1998. The United States Citadel Star Station was slated to be fully operational by March. Soviet charges that the space station was merely a military launching platform alarmed a number of non-aligned nations. The right-wing government in the South and Central Americas, many of them set up by the US during the drug wars of 1987 to 1993, pledged their support to the US. The NATO nations, including the new African members, also declared their alliance with the US. That move forced most that move forced that move forced most of the remaining neutral powers to join the Soviet protest. In six short weeks, only Switzerland, Sweden, and Ireland continued to declare themselves neutral nations. Two weeks before Citadel was due for full operation, the station transmitted a distress signal. Immediately after the message was sent, most of the satellites orbiting the planet were swept clean from the sky, leaving the great powers blind. In military panic, each sent 90% of their nuclear arsenal skyward. Although the destruction was tremendous, it was not complete. Pockets of civilization remained, some even oblivious to the military exchange. On the same day that the US and Soviet Union were attempting to extinguish each other, a company of US Army engineers were in the southwestern desert building transportation bridges over dry riverbeds. They worked deep in the unhospitable desert valleys, surrounded by a number of survivalist communities. Located directly south of their position on that day was a newly constructed federal prison. In addition to housing the nationals criminal condemned to death, the prison contained light industrial manufacturing facilities. Shortly after the nuclear attack began, the engineers seeking shelter took over the federal prison and expelled the prisoners into the de desolate desert. The desolate desert <laughs> to complete their sentences. As the weeks passed, they invited the nearby survivalist communities to join them and to build them and to help build and to help them build a new society, because of each community's suspicions toward one another. Times were difficult at first, but, but as time nurtured trust, the settlement, which came to be known as Ranger Center, grew to be one of the strongest outposts. Ranger Center even, even proved powerful enough to repel their, the bands of rancorous criminals who repeatedly attacked in an attempt to reclaim what was once rightfully theirs. The citizens of Ranger Center, after first believing that they were the, <laughs> we could, the citizens of the Vault, after first believing that they were the only ones who survived the nuclear maelstrom, soon realized that communities beyond the desert's grip had also survived, because they had each success. They had each success in constructing a new community. They felt compelled to help other survivors rebuild and live peace. Towards this end, the Desert Rangers, in the great tradition of the Texas and Arizona Rangers, a century before, were born. I feel the writing isn't that great. Anyway. Objective. Wasteland is a post-nuclear holocaust adventure. Your party, the famed Desert Rangers, have been assigned to investigate a series of disturbance in the desert. After several strategy meetings, you've decided to search for clues in Hypo, the Agricultural Center, and the Rail Nomads Camp all of which are located to the west of Ranger Center. The first thing you need to do is read the command summary card. It tells you how to get to the west. Oh, yeah. So, I want to write this down, because these three places are kind of like the three first places you need to uh, 
to investigate. So hypo agricultural center. And the nomad camp, the rail nomad camp. Perfect. Okay, we're done. Hey, Karen, how's it going? Okay, let's start the game for reals now. Enter the location. Yes. I did not load the right game. Again. load this one boom there you go <laughs> these are our character ellen ripley <laughs> i went with my favorite uh, some of my favorite characters in sci-fi but also i wanted i wanted two uh two men and two women and i said oh, can i find couples in there so i was like oh man ellen ripley maybe yeah, I can couple her with, with Dwayne X from Aliens and of course Ky Kyle Reese from Terminator with Sarah Connor. Hey, Jimmy Colorado. Yes, OG Wasteland. I debated uh, if I would buy and stream Wasteland uh, Remastered, but nah, it's not worth my 20 bucks. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is better. I played this like about 10 years ago. And when it came out, this is the version that is sold on GOG as just Wasteland. But it's kind of like, there's that music here, and those graphics here, you can have them filtered out or iRes. And this is neither, nor filter, no iRes. Because on the iRes version, iRes, it's not really iRes, it's just a little bit, it's just a little bit crispier than this and there's no movement and i like the little animations like the movement of the creatures and the people you encounter exactly i explained somebody to someone it's kind of like what they did with the it's like watching the original um, star wars trilogy but like the latest latest uh, blu-ray versions so it's star wars it's great but it's definitely not like the good old Star Wars without all the special effects, all the added uh, stuff, the added scenes, move some stuff. Uh, <laughs> the latest thing is the... I can't remember the, the thing, but it's when Anne um, gets shot. They, they added another thing in there. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> they just can't keep their eyes. It's literally... And they had that problem, uh, I heard, um, back in the... Um, I don't know when exactly, but like maybe like hundreds of years ago, uh, where they would have museum, of course, uh, like we have right now with paintings, and the artist sometimes would sneak in, or as a, like as an observer would come in and retouch their own painting because there was something that was like bothering them or something, and they had to do st stuff. They had to say like, no, once you give up. Once you put the, the, the painting there, it's fucking done, like... Anyways... This is my opinion. This version is better. And they removed the macros. If they would have put the macros in the remastered version, and I'm sure eventually it'll be put it in, maybe it's even put it in right now as we speak, I don't care. I decided to go with this version. They can never leave well enough. <laughs> And uh, so yeah, we're gonna go with the, this version. The, the macros I'm gonna explain as we go, and they're really nice. So Ellen Ripley is strength of 11, which is ordinary, but the good thing about her is her IQ of 16. Uh, 15 agility is kinda nice, dexterity 14 is okay, I guess, uh, and her charisma of 16 is kinda nice. Cause I wanted one character to have charisma, high charisma. My first character I rolled was her, and I wanted her to be, um, what was important for my first character was Charisma, IQ, and of course Dex, and that's what we got. And as 
she has a bunch of items, of course. Uh, I did the, the cheat exploit of uh, spawning characters and picking them, them item up and deleting them. Kind of, you can do that in Might and Magic. You can do that in a bunch of games. It's like it's almost like they don't give a shit. The devs, that maybe they use it when they want to test the game. Uh, so, um, for the skills, I went pretty much with what I went with the, the first time I did the game, but uh, uh, I did a little more research, and of course, with my little experience with the game the first time, I did finish it, but I can't remember exactly. I know I checked a lot of walkthrough. I'll try to use less walkthrough now, but it's a game that is you need to take notes, and I didn't the first time, and I got fucked a lot. Uh, I was also afraid of the that it was kind of Ultima-ish, and no, it's not. It's I think we'll be able to do this. It's not that complicated of a game. I don't think. You just take notes, you do what people tell you to do, there's usually a bunch of ways to do a lot of stuff. Um, but what you do will impact, or at least it will like be, if you kill somebody on the map, he's dead. Um, they kind of, I, I think they wanted to do what Ultima didn't do. Uh, in Ultima, each, like, if you enter a castle, if you enter uh, a town, uh, you pick a... a some treasure, you kill someone. You go out of the town, go back in, boop, treasure's back there, the guy's still there. That, that was Ultima 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, I think afterward maybe it changes. But this game, they went with, no, no, no. If you, they went so far with that, that uh, the first time that they launched a game, I don't know exactly the, the story because I, I didn't play the game when, when it came out. Um, the game was so like you started your party and even if you did a bunch of stuff and you did fuck it i'm gonna reload and just start a new game uh i think you just couldn't start a new game yeah you had to copy your original disc that's crazy because it would rewrite on the disc instead of having a save game it would literally change the map in the files of the of this game, there is game one and game two. I think game one is kind of your, your character, I think, and game two is the world. So the modification you've done your characters, their health, their items, whatever is in game one, and game two is the rest of the map. So if you you can't really leave something there, but if somebody dies and there, there's a loot there, you leave that loot there, it's gonna be there indefinitely. You kill someone, like I said, you kill a shop, uh, the, the shop guy is dead. And and I'll move on eventually. Okay, so uh, yeah, I put Brawling at 2 because supposedly Brawling is really good. I didn't do it at first, my first play 2. I think I went all out Assault Rifle. I said, fuck it, I'm gonna use a bunch of Assault Rifle. And I started a couple of the, those skills at level 3, at level 2 and even 3 if I remember. But what I read is, no, 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 you should start your skills at level 1. There's no reason to put them at level 2 and 3. They're gonna level up themselves. Um, you can get more skills by doing that. So now I have, uh, I think everybody has climb or almost everybody. Everybody has swim. Um, Ellen has assault rifle and rifle. Um, she has confidence, silent move, uh, because she's the one at the front. I never use silent move, but supposedly you put it at the front guy and it'll help. Um, Dwayne. Dwayne, since he had a lot of luck and he has a lot of speed, yeah, I didn't remember that. Six, seventeen speed, and a lot of strength. Yeah, that's a great character right there. No charisma, but that's fine. But the rest is cool. IQ fifteen. It's not too shabby. I think the maximum is eighteen. I think I never saw anything more than eighteen. Um, so the items. Also, Brawling Klein, the difference with him is more weapons. He's Dwayne, so he's got the weapons. Uh, he knows how to use an assault rifle, AT weapon, which is anti-tank weapon, and SMG. Uh, he also knows how to gamble, because he has a lot of luck. Uh, he also has Medic. Medic is an important skill. But it costs two instead of one. Uh, three? Kyle? Kyle has uh, IQ 16, Dex 16... He's just an all-around okay guy. 
Um, Brawling claim pistol. So on Kyle and Sarah, I decided to go with pistol and assault rifle. I put assault rifle on all the guys because assault rifles is like the best rifles in the game. You can all the guides say to directly skip to assault rifle. You don't have to, but they say if you want to just mix it up, you can. With what I'm doing, so I'll be using SMGs. I remember using SMGs a lot in my uh, first playthrough. Uh, I think I went with. Uh, 3% with assault rifle and 1% with SMG and AT weapons, I think. Something like that. I didn't use the demolition, which are grenades. I'm gonna use them more, I think, now. Um, and I think I only had one medic, but now, no. Everybody's a medic. Uh, Sarah's not a medic, but I think she's gonna be the doctor eventually. So he has... Uh, he's my my tool guy. He's my, my tinker guy. He does pick lock. Um, whoops. Uh, safe cracking and yeah that's it big clock and safe cracking um, and Sarah uh, pistol again assault rifle also acrobat instead of I think Ellen has acrobat and climbing because I read that you only need climbing or acrobat and essentially you only need climbing on one character but I decided to give climbing to everyone except one and give her at least acrobat. I don't know what it'll do. Um, alarm disarm, bureaucracy, bomb disarm. She's the most skillful one. Cryptology. Um, she's my skill girl and she'll be the one with the most. Uh, she has 17 IQ and, and I'll go up and she'll be a doctor uses three, I, uh, three points, um, three skill points. Um, so uh, there's, a, they all have a couple of skill point left, three or two. Yeah, not really. It's we'll see, but like in, I think climbing is weird in the fact that it works for everybody, but most of the skill is just for it's just bad because pick lock you only need one pick lock. It's like in D&D &D where you have all your characters that do one... Th you don't need 12 thief, only one thief. He does the thieving thing. You have your cleric who does the cleric thing. Um, but my characters are pretty all-rounded. But I have like specialized characters like Kyle who opens doors and stuff. And Sarah Connor who has a couple of other nice skills. Okay, so let's, let's play this fucking game. Yay! <laughs> Uh, this game also save automatically, which uh, is one of the reasons we start at 108, because I just moved one, and I don't even remember moving. Uh, I remember coming here and moving a bunch of stuff in my inventory by doing this, and doing like trade, and trading my stuff. Uh, you can also reorder your... Uh, your items, which is kind of nice. Like you press reorder, uh, boop, and then you you press the number and it pulls them in that order. So if I press one, it'll just put it back in that order. But you get that if we do, if we do Dwayne, uh, uh, it's annoying that he goes back in there. I think that's why it uses time. No, maybe not. Okay, I'll just move, move here. It'll be less annoying. Uh, because it cons considered us in that building. Sometimes it's kind of weird to uh, figure out exactly where you are on the map, what's exactly going on. Because when you en encounter a creature and you run from it, it's still like on a square on the map. Sometimes you see it, sometimes you don't, depending on how far you are or something like that. Maybe your perception. Um, so let's move. This mountain is in your way, go around. Um, the desert is kind of dangerous. Uh, if you go too far in, uh, you need canteens in your inventory. The first time I played this game, I had no idea what any of those in inventory items did. Uh, we'll go in there. It's kind of the first place everyone go goes. Uh, the game also automatically saves. Uh, it's kind of weird, and since I'm a crazy bastard and I like to have multiple saves, 
<laughs> and you can get fucked in this game. I back up my save like regularly. I have a program running in the background that saves my my saves. This is the save the the file is essentially just one meg. I think this game ran on the 1.44 meg disk. Megabyte. Oh, yeah, you can press up and down. You are in the desert north of the settlement of Ipul. The fields near you are watered by a canal that gets its water from the creek. South of you are two story adobe buildings that resemble dorms. This is a dorm for teens, nothing much of interest here. This is a wall. <laughs> oh yeah. The entry is cool. A store counter is nearby and the room beyond looks like a gaming hall. I knew there was something on the wall or something at the beginning of the game. A name is painted on the door, Mr. Jumbo. So this might be important. Mr. Jumbo. Uh, wow. This is high pool, I think. I should do high pool sections. The door is locked. Maybe I could pick lock it. I'm not gonna do that right now. Ah, there you go. A note tacked to the wall says, Cave? No, that, these are all important, I think. Cave. That's when I was really impressed with the game. I never played Ultima, so it's kind of like Ultima, where you talk to people about these things. Uh, adults raid outlaws. I don't know what that means. Adults... Raid out laws. And this game had a problem. I like the soundtrack you got going very purple. Oh, this soundtrack, by the way, is the soundtrack that comes with the game. This is the soundtrack of Wasteland 2. Um, they kind of, while they were making Wasteland 2, they tweaked out this Wasteland version that's on GOG right now. This is a diff. This is a. This is not. It's kind of in DOSBox, but not really. It's like a tweaked out DOSBox version um, that can change some of the some of the character portraits, um, like that guy there or encounters. Uh, you can put filters like in DOSBox, but the character portrait is unique. There's also, since that's what I was about to say, um, the reason why these are kind of, there's not much description there, and eventually we'll have wall of text in the game as a literal wall of text i remember it takes the whole screen it's a big black and it's a different uh, font than this it's literally tacked into the game because the original it said go check paragraph 66 or whatever of a of a manual that came with with the game then you check the manual and it said uh, you had to read that to have the description of the scene or something like that. We'll get to that eventually. Anyways, adults raid outlaws. And we have Jackie. Bobby's dog. Everybody who played this game remembers Bobby's dog. Fix the water purifier. You can already see... Um, the origin of Fallout here. <laughs> and that's it. And you can always go back here. Check the like everything that was said since we came in. Let's talk to this guy. Enter new location. So this guy could be in a higher resolution, but he wouldn't move like he does. And I really like the way he moves. <laughs> Who wants to enter? I don't know. Ellen Ripley. 
We need to sell. We have a bunch of stuff we can sell now. <laughs> uh, because I'm a cheater. Um, so we can pull money, which is kind of nice. I don't know if P is pull money or if I have to... Sometimes these things here uh, are kind of like Alt, P, and I, I have the manual somewhere. I think so, but it I'll I'll replay it. I have to replay it. The first time I liked it, but it kind of overstayed its welcome. At the end I was happy to finish it. Which is usually a sentiment I have, which with every game. Oh I can't sell him my um, my guns, I can only sell him Oh, I only picked up the guns and the clips. Okay, um, so no real money unless we can sell. There may be some items here that I don't need. Like the end mirror. I have no idea if that's an important item or not. Uh, let's see what he has to... Um, what can we buy? We can buy a book. A crowbar, a gas mask, uh, a gas mask, a gauger, Geiger, Geiger counter. That might be important. An end mirror, a jug, a map, some matches, a pickaxe, a rope, a shovel, a sledgehammer, some snake squeezing. I don't remember what that is. Is it something to remove poison? Maybe. Somebody can help me. A uh, clay pot, I think that's useless. Fruit, I think that's also useless. Jewelry, sounds useless. Pickaxe is important, rope is important, shovel, sledgehammer. Map, I'm not sure. <coughs> I don't think jug is important. The Geiger counter, the gas mask, maybe. I don't remember why, but might be important. Pretty sure a mirror is useless. I can buy some beer, so I will sell it. Four. Two. Sell. Four. Three. Sell. Four. Four. Sell. Four. We. After the two box. We can buy a crowbar and a bunch of stuff, but I'm not gonna buy anything right now. We don't need to buy anything. I'm not gonna buy anything. We have 32 bucks. Okay. How could we talk to him about things? I want to try to pick lock this, but I'm afraid. <laughs> I can always save here. Yes. No. Um, so you need to do... Use... Kyle attribute no skill pick lock <laughs> Hey what you think you're doing to the door? yelled the angry juvies. Angry juvies Let's go talk to the angry juvies. They seem to be okay with that. You see a bed to the west and a cluttered desk to the east. Uh, this is a cluttered desk. <laughs> you see several handwritten notes on the desk. One note is cash accounts with the rail nomads. Okay, so angry. 
Juvies. What is Juvies? Juveniles? Juvies? <laughs> Anyways, Anchor Juvies, they have notes about a cash account. With a rail nomad. Another outlines sneak another outlines sneak attack plans against desert marauders. Okay, this last note seems odd since it clearly assumes only two attackers against many. One note is a reminder to put is a cash is cash accounts Since it clearly assumes only two attackers against me. One node is a reminder to put a trapdoor over the cave across the creek. Whoa. Trap door over cave across creek. Another is about hydrophobia. What is that? Could we use Ellen Ripley? Skill, perception, here, you see nothing special. On the wall, oh you really have to move around every, every year. Juby is also slang for juvenile hall, the penal systems for minor, here in the states. Oh, okay. On the, on the wall are faded photos of kids. T-shirts say Camp High Pool. Maybe camp might be something I can talk about. The bedroom looks like a scum pit. <laughs> okay, so I need one of my uh, one of my first uh, macro will be. Uh, use Ellen skill perception. So each time I press F5, I'll be able to do perception and I'll be able to do it in the direction I want easily, like this. I remember there were some places that you would think that you need to do it forward, like you need to do perception in front of you, but you need to do it on the... There was a couple of places like that, and I thought that was bullshit. <laughs> so you really need to use a lot of stuff, try a lot of stuff, eventually it works. Eventually, if you're really lucky. Uh, and I think also sometimes even though it says you see nothing special you you do it you do it you do it and eventually it'll work or something like that it's a weird game and there's not a lot of, of documentation on it oh we can enter this location Welcome to the infamy. Who wants treatment? Uh, if I do, everybody's fine. Whew, 25 bucks, nope. Oh. This looks like a workshop. All machinery is nearby and there's a cot in the back. Okay, perception. What is this? All the machine parts lie on the, on the floor, surrounded by a scatter of tools. Perception. 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 Oops. Perception. Oh! You deduce that... This was not perception, this was me going up. You deduce that this is a water purification device. It looks broken. The gaping hole beside the pumps lead you to think it could be fixed with a new engine. This big contraption is a pump is a patchwork machine. You recognize a pump. A lime crusted pipes go under the floor. 
Oh, this is perception. Uh, when when you do this, this big contraption. No, not even. Oh, I think. Okay, this is uh, perception. You deduce that this is water. This bedroom looks like a scumpit. Your curiosity is rewarded. Under a loose board beneath the bed, you find quite a cache. Who wants to loot? Ellen. We have a pistol, clip, a leather jacket, and some cash. Which reminds me, <laughs> we should equip ourselves. Your curiosity, uh, yeah, okay. So, we need to rooster on, which is spacebar. I don't know what this is. One smaller than one. This thing here. What does this mean? Uh, oh, we have a hundred cash here. Cool. But she's good with her fists for now. <clears throat> I, I, I tested out um, the brawling skill, like just fisting people in the face and monsters, and it's really powerful. I didn't think so. Like at the beginning of the game, if you have okay strength and brawling abilities, and I, I've level 2, maybe level 1 is just fine, but I've, I've heard that. If there's one skill you need to put, you need. You could put a level 2 is that one. Also, you cannot level your skills higher than your own level. So everybody's at level 1 now. So we can't get level 2 of anything, except if we invest some skill points like brawling. But I would like shoot my pistol uh, a thousand times and it will le never level up unless I level up. And to level up you need to radio. I'll do that uh, later. So we have a little jacket, can we put it on? Equip. I guess it's equipped. Um, and we will do Kyle Reese. There's one of the two pistols that is more powerful. But less clips. I think it's this one. The M19. Is it loaded? To reload, I only f like the f my only way I found is to go into encounter mode, and then in encounter mode you can load, uh, unload, uh, unjam. But yeah, yeah. When you go into into um, encounter mode, you can go into map. And you can see the map, like you're still there. You're still, you're not. How can I say this? Like, you'll see, you. I think you see the enemy uh, right here, or right here if I would be battling. And I can move, and I can also divide my guys and move a guy here, a guy here, a guy here, kind of like other tactical games. But um, the way the the game looks when you do your encounter, it looks like your traditional JRPG uh, or early CRPG Ultima or Wizardry Might and Magic kind of thing, where you ever like it's a you're four people and um, you're all stuck together, which you're not. Anyways, it's way more complicated than it looks. Uh, no, I don't need to do that. And you don't really need to use the mouse in this game. I'm just searching around to see if I can find something else. But I think we we found everything we had to find find here. Oops. 
let's save. Yes. No. Even though it's pretty much saves every moment. Do you want to talk? Yes. To ask about. Um, who are you? Talk about you? The kid fidget and then sh shrugs. I don't know. Talk about kid. Already here. Uh, whoops. Oh, this is page up. Is this? It's interesting. If I do buy. Exit? I don't know how to quit this. <laughs> Goodbye. Oops. <laughs> escape. Okay, escape. Was there a description of the kid? A tearful boy. A tearful boy watches you from the nearby bush. It's important to read those. If not, you're, you're just gonna. Not know what's going on. A limestone cliff looms overhead. I press down and it says that. Okay, let's talk about uh, I don't know the camp. Uh, no, um, um, Jackie. I told Jackie to keep clear of the cave. Oh, let's talk about the cave. Ooh, the cave is between the pool and the west cliff wall. Oh, cave between the pool. And the West Cliff Wall. West Cliff. Don't kill my dog, Rex, okay? Please! The young boy sobs, sobs out, Rex, then runs away. Ah, oh, shit. The cliff face is dotted with seashells and worm track. And worm tracks. Some perception. Oh, you can go on the, the forest tiles. I don't know if I can go there though, in the water. You are knee deep in Ipole Creek. The water is cool, but the rocks are slippery. Okay. Find a deep hole to a dark cave, a short strand of frayed rope, about three inches long, and goes from a tree limb. Okay, can I go in there? The bushes cling to the box kind of wall. Just says that when I touch it now, but at first when I did this and I was running around and didn't say anything. Okay, um, can I just climb down? Hey, Bass, Ellen, skill, climb. You find a deep hole to a dark cave, and no, oh, that doesn't seem to work. Then use Ellen item. Your rope is tied to the tree when you want to slide down into the cave? Yeah. Even here, the cave is very dark. The floor is rocky. <laughs> yeah, you didn't miss much. Nothing has gone on. I didn't even encounter a creature yet. Oh, I just exited the cave. By going up. The wall is damp, the wall is damp. I mostly explain the game. Even here the cave is very dark. Doing some perception check. Oh, 
Rocks and bulls would make it difficult to pass. The cave walls are damp. The cave wall is slick with moisture. So I saw this part in the remastered version and it looks less obvious than this. Like it's and people get stuck even in the original here. I remember getting stuck here at first. I think you can just climb this. Or you can do like you can try to uh, I think at first I tried to pickaxe this, shovel this <coughs> use strength maybe. I'm gonna use strength with du Dwayne, I think he's the one with the biggest strength, I think. You fall and slip back with skin knee. X gets hurt for four points of damage. Oh, there you go. That's interesting. So maybe with enough strength, he might not have enough. 15 isn't that crazy strength. It's good. Agility is only 12. That might be a thing. Like if I just do agility instead of climb, maybe it'll work. Let's try. Use Ellen Ripley attributes agility. Oh, it did work. So you don't need climb, but I know climb works here. Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. Hey, thanks for the follow, Barney. Yeah, my characters are Ellen Ripley, Dwayne X from Aliens, and Kyle Reese and Sarah Connor from Terminator. Um, and both cup these are couples, I guess. I find that there are couples, and they have relation. They have a relationship, and also, funny enough, the guy that plays Dwayne Hicks, is the same guy that plays Kyle Reese. <laughs> you hear a growl like metal ripping. A huge dog lunges from a dark corner, jaws foaming. A rabid dog appears at 14 feet. Oh yeah, Ellen Ripley chooses to run, use, higher attack. Michael Bean! Oh yeah! Hmm. What other thing he's done? I mean, I don't know him from... What? <laughs> What's up? Dude's cool as fuck. He is. He is cool. He should have played other game, other movies. Like he has a cool, uh, I think a cool, cool um, presence. And I really like him as Kyle Reese in Terminator. I really like him. He's just such a cool guy. You see him and you're like, he's a good guy. Imagine him as in, as a as a bad guy. That would be fucked up. Oh no 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 no! Ellen Ripley and Dwayne Hicks kick ass with their fists, dude. Fists is a good weapon in this game. So let's attack, attack. Oh, the, oh! He said to not attack this rabid dog. Maybe we can not attack the dog. We will run. Last time I did attack the dog, but I know what happens if you do that. I don't know what happens if you don't attack the dog. I don't even know if you can not attack the dog. We'll do it. Do it now. So we can run as a party or as a single player. So we're gonna run as a party with P. Oh, he's right there. I don't think we'll be able to do it. I'm gonna move up. Yes. We're gonna move this faster. And we play Dwayne Hicks, Kyle Reese, and Sarah Connor. Move. I'm pretty sure every time I play this game, I blew that dog's brains out. Of course, everybody does that. Okay, run again. As a party. It didn't attack us. We're there, so can we go up? I don't think so, we'll try. Use this option, yes. Bounces, 20 points of freaking damage. Holy shit, you're dead. A rock and boulder makes it difficult to pass. Yes. Makes it difficult, so maybe I can use? Uh, skill, climb, up. Uh, let's all do that. Use skill, climb up. Use skill, climb up. 
and use attribute agility. Yes. Cybercon with nine points of damage. They all wriggle past. Nothing happens. I don't know exactly what happened. Where we are? View or map? Map. We're there. Okay. This game might be slightly unbalanced. Why? Because of the 20 points of damage? No, it's fine. Oh, really? Shit. Oh, shit. You should have said that. That kind of spoils me there. Because I want to play. I played the, I played the first Command and Conquer, um, which I had played when I was young, but I never played the, the sequels. I played Red, Red Alert. Uh, the first video it also, but I never played any of the sequels. So I want to play all the Tiberian Sun uh, trilogy, I think there's only three games, and then play the Red Alert uh, trilogy. Uh, okay, so run, party, right. Yes, he's gonna attack us. No, miss, miss, miss. Okay. I gained some experience. That's interesting. Usually, the only people that gain experience is when you kill, uh, is the person that kills a creature. So, if one of your character never hits, he'll never uh, get some XP, I think. We can now move along. Well, well, well. The dog will survive. Epic music. Okay, it's gonna be a macro. Use Ellen Ripley skill uh, climb. Boom. There was something here. Oh, it might be there. Uh, this thing here. It's cool that I can point with this, the mouse. It's not useful, but it's useful for that. Uh, we can wiggle past this. The roof fell here once. You can barely, you can barely move about. You know the broken human bone. Hmm. Oh, of course, no, 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 it's fine. Do I look pissed? Uh, so, you... No, I want a perception? Come on. Come on! Human bone. Must be something in there. Maybe not. So I'll have to pass uh, beside the dog again. Shit. Can I wiggle past this? <laughs> no. Encounter! Run. Party. Yes. It's fine. I'm not really stressed out. This game is... Um, it's fine, like, it's difficult to die, not difficult, it can happen, of course, but you'll get unconscious and get, then you'll get, you can get better just by time passing. If you get in serious condition, you need a medic, something like that. Throw a ball for the dog. Is that music coming from the game? It is and it isn't. It's kind of, it has been added to the game, uh, the, the GOG version of the game, which I'm playing. But party this is boom 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 we're done yeah I'm happy that he doesn't move from his spot uh, let's go with some perception I 
Oh, there's somebody here. What the fuck? I wanted to do a couple of wiggle pass here to... Uh... Oh, no, I can't upgrade my climbing skill. Okay, we'll do that later. Uh, I want to see what's here, though, before... Nothing? I can't even move here. Uh, encounter? Ah. Oh. oh yeah, that's how you talk to people. It's all coming back to me. It's weird. Yeah, there's no talk button, so usually you just bump into the guy like the 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 guy that didn't want us to kill it, the kid that didn't want us to kill his dog, just by bumping into him. You talk, but now you press encounter and then he appears. Please help me get out of here. Hey, check with starfish. Thanks for the raid. And we will uh, hire this guy. This also took me maybe not hours, but I did not understand what to do with that guy. You can't, you can't talk to him. He's just there. So you hire him. And the other one can just evade, I guess. Not important. Yes. Thank you for rescuing me. Boom. And then evade. <laughs> and now he's with us. If you go into roster, he's right there. Jackie. Boom. Eh, hey, Jackie. I I kept that guy. In my first play too. At least for a while. We can keep him. He has really shitty stats. <laughs> like, really shitty stats. He has a knife, a canteen, and a match. He has knife fight, brawling, pugilism, swim, and that's it. Oh, the thing about brawling, which is better than knife fight, is because brawling gives you more uh, attack per round. So I think at level 2 you already get 2 attacks per round. So already that is like huge. He has perception and silent move. So he has no, essentially nothing. And he has three skill points, so I could give him assault rifle if I wanted to do something like that. So I guess I can keep him. But I'll have to like level him up and he's... he's... Maybe I can just use him as... A... Yeah, for now we're gonna keep him. Uh, oh, Shit, the dog again. <laughs> I don't know if I can get on his square. A young Ronald McDonald hits this kid. <laughs> what? Sounds like, yeah, this is CD quality music. This is the soundtrack to Wasteland 2, which they kind of just incorporated there. It's literally just the soundtrack going from uh, track 1 to track 12. Just running all the tracks. Uh, in the settings when you start the game you can choose between you can choose at which track it starts you can choose if you want to repeat one track or the whole thing that's it you don't have many options there okay we're gonna run oh shit we can't run here can we run down 15 points of damage on Dwayne he's unconscious it's fine Fuck, we're still there. Okay, we need to use uh, skill, climb here, and then a bunch of evades. Yes. There you go. Okay. Then we do run, party, down, yes. Is this too fast? No, I think that's fine. Run! Party! Down! Yes! Oh! Serious! Shit! Run! Party! Right! Yes! 
And then hopefully gain some experience again for some reason. Um, use LN skill medic on Dwayne. Oh shit. Oh fuck, really? Or oh, maybe I just missed my skill. But he is in a serious condition. I can't remember if Medic heals serious condition. Wasteland! And I hope so. I don't want to do this all again. Uh, skill. I could pay 25 bucks, the guy, uh, the doctor. I'll do that. If there's any problem. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna do a macro. Use Ellen skill medic boy. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, I have to do that again. Use Ellen skill medic. Let's do that as a micro macro. Dwayne. Ah, shit. Dwayne. Fuck. Maybe I should have done that before he got into serious condition. Okay, fuck it. You slip and fall into the water with a splash. Your face burns. Burns. With embarrassment. You hear children's laughter. You are knee deep in High Pool Creek. The water is cool, but the rocks are slippery. You step and fall in the face! Calories, one point of damage. That's funny. So, could we like encounter this guy? A brat. Jeering from hiding mutant kids holds things shut in their hands. Higher? <laughs> the brat? Evade, evade, evade? Yes. But fails. So what happens if you kill the dog, if anybody wants to know, is the guy, the, the, the kid that didn't want you to kill the dog is really pissed off and he appears pretty much there. I think it might be him. Okay, we need to get... I don't want my guy to die. We need to get him to the fucking medic. Yes. Who wants two? We need to pull the money. Uh, healing. You can't heal one. Continue. It's. Oh, exam is twenty five dollars, but healing is free. Heal, oh, heal one point. Oh. God damn it. Fuck! Conscious. <sighs> that if, if Sirius goes to unconscious... Because unconscious, eventually you just wake up. So, I'm gonna look up the medic skill. Wasteland... Medic skill. I might might have wasted a bunch of how to use the medic skill. Medic can heal serious condition. Shit. It's just because I'm level 1 I was difficult, but I, I could have eventually uh, do it. Should I reload? It would be easy to do that. Yeah, we'll just reload. Let's give me a second here.
I'm not gonna waste all that money. Even though I'm kind of full of cash, I'm not full of cash. I need to sell my stuff, which I can't right now. <laughs> kind of annoying. Before I do that, okay. There you go. I don't think the trailer for Western Sea looks that bad. No, no, it looks great. Definitely looks better than uh, oh, this is when I came out. Perfect. Eh, we don't have the guy here. What? It's almost impossible. That's almost impossible. I never did do a proper save, but the game is supposed to have like a, an auto save. Like I said, it just saves everything. And, uh, hmm. That is weird. What the fuck? No, I got. The, oh, did I close it? Damn, I fucking. saving right now so fuck huh I have a feeling it won't work for some reason I'm not going back enough. That might be the, the thing. Yeah, that might be very possible. Fuck. Oh well, we'll know for the next time. We'll just use the money and that's it. Okay, I'll just keep that there. Yeah, my system to reload is not, uh, definitely not perfect.
So I did a backup of my save before doing all this shit just in case, but I'm not even sure since... No, 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 this is not the remastered version. The remastered version looks bad, better. It looks better, but not that much. Again, he's not there. Why? And the rope is not even there now. Oh my god. So everything's fucked up. What? Did, did I get my XP for the stuff I did? Or what the fuck is going on? I have 106 cash at least, that's done. And do I still have my rope? I still have my rope. So yeah, my last save is my last save. Oh, I think it only saves when you um, enter a new location. And this here is not entering a new lake. Entering high pool here. This place here is a new location. Like this whole place here is a new location. This thing. Maybe. Okay. I'm just not understanding the autosave. It's supposed to save when you radio in, when you do a manual save. We know now. So let's use uh, LN replay item rope here. I'm going to the cave. We use. Uh, do I have still have a macro? No. Macro for use. Hidden Ripley. Skill climb. And the macro up. She fell. F6 up. The dog. Run. Party up. Yes. At least now we know we don't need to go to the upper... Was there something at the upper right? No. Uh, run party. No. Uh, use skill climb up. Evade, evade, evade. Yes. The combat is all like simultaneous. That's why you, you choose what you want to do. Okay, run. Oh, it didn't work, I think. Yes, it did. Yeah, I don't need to go there. Party, run, left. Left. Yes. Boom, boom, boom. Run, party, up. Yes. Boom, boom, boom. 10 bucks? Huh, it's, ten, it's 20 bucks, right? I'm gone. So, uh, F6 go, F6, encounter, enter, higher, juvenile, yes. I'm gonna save now, <laughs> yes, no, uh, F6, boom. Enter, run, party, no, use, skill, climb, there, evade, 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 yes, 14 damage on Jackie, there was a person that uh, you did not want that to happen to, okay, we're here, um, so you're gonna use, skill, climb, I don't need to do that. I can just uh, run. What I'm gonna do is. Well, we're gonna run. Run. Party. Calorie 17. We're fine. Run. Party. Down. Yes. It's Ellen Ripley for 14 damage. Run party here, yes. Any misses and Ellen Ripley gains 19 experience. We go out, we save. 
Yeah, these guys, yeah, that, that guy is tough. You're not supposed to, well, you're not supposed. Everybody that plays Wasteland usually goes in, because there's a little kid here that uh, says, oh, there's a, uh, my dog went in there, please don't, don't kill my dog. Um, what was the point of going in there? I got Jackie. I don't know if there's a reason to do that. Did I miss something in the cave other than the guy? Maybe we'll have to go back there eventually. Anyways, um, you kill the dog attacks. You kill the dog. As soon as you go out here, there's a little guy here that, that appears. Oh, no, he doesn't appear. Interesting. There's a playground with swings and bushes all around. Oh, interesting. Yeah, now he's not unconscious anymore. With time, your your guys will. Uh... And to advance time, you can just press escape. Yeah, 29, 31. Uh... And by doing that, eventually a 6. It'll just go up. It's like sleeping. You can also press V, which does the same thing. It's view. It's supposed to be when you separate your guy. Because if I do this band, I'm kind of afraid now. <laughs> Save. Yes. No. This band, um, for example, LM. Enter. Her there. So this is LM Ripley. And if I do view, you change between LM and your other guys. So, you could attack from different fronts, you could you could do stuff. And you can merge back again like this, and if you want to reorder, you do order 5, 1, 1, 1, 1, uh, one 2, 3, there you go. Yeah, that's the correct order. So now we could just sleep. Oh, uh, to sleep I usually do a macro for maybe, I don't know, uh, six, maybe a couple of hours. Maybe two hours. Something like that. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, I can't do. Uh, oh, it's only F1 to F8. Oh, let's do F8. Um, we're gonna do one hour per, per press. There you go. So F8 does an hour, and then you can do something like that. And eventually, everybody is gonna be full. This is longer because on the world map uh, the time goes faster. Shit. I have no control now. I pressed it a bunch of times and we have to wait. There you go. Oh, maybe it was already at max con. Anyway, everybody has, is at max. You can try to radio. But that will... Uh, Yeah, it doesn't have quite enough experience. This is how you level up. You radio to your base. So we need to get an engine in here. No, not here. No. Can you program those macros on Wasteland 2? No, you don't need to. Wasteland 2 is kind of like, it's very recent, it's 2012, so... You don't need... This game you need because of the... Like, use, LN, skill... Like, just, just perception is so complicated to use. I need a new engine. So I'm guessing I'll need to come back here. 
Maybe I can encounter the juveniles, but I can't talk to them even if I encounter the guy. <laughs> Attack evade higher. Run. I'm gonna run. We do have some money, but we have ten bucks. Oh, I just bought a book by accident. Oh well. Uh, no, I wanted to choose Ellen, pull the money, buy. Maybe buy a rope. Some pickaxe. A shovel might be useful. It's kind of cheap. What's the, what the fuck is this thing, squeeze? So I don't know if we did, or maybe if we kill the dog, it gives you something. Let's save. Yes. Okay, so I saw, I have a save here at 9.36. Oh, I'm gonna take a little break here. Or just, yeah, I'll try to kill the dog, see what it does. I'll just reload if there's a problem. Um, Okay, attack, 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 um, evade Jackie, yes. Killing it, it's done. 270 experience, oh, there you go, there's something. Yes, uh, wants to loot, and then some jewelry. And that's it? Oh, okay. See nothing special. <laughs> like there's an so there's an NPC here. That's it. It's the only thing there is interesting. And a dog with some jewelry. Uh, well, I'm gonna show you what happens when uh, when you kill the dog. There you go. Everybody laughs. Oh. It seems we're fine. A pile of fresh herd is a wood plant with woods my dog Rex gunned down by vigilante rangers. Okay. But there's usually consequences to this action. This is interesting. Oh, okay, this is it. 
Hey, you do you recognize Tenzo? You killed my dog, you dirty rangers! So now we can kill Bobby if we want to. Let's see what happens if we attack the guy. Not within range. Okay, uh, let's evade, evade, attack, attack. Evade. Because he's far away. He attacks me with what? Come on guys, you suck. Oh, I think that we're too far even for the... for the pistol. We're coming! Attack, attack, attack! Even Jackie. Killing him. 20 experience for Kyle Reese. Who wants the loot? A pistol and some jewelry. So will people like hate us now? This is entering new location though. This counts as entering new location, so this will save my game. Anyway, I don't want to kill Mr. J, Mr. Uh... Compared to Wasteland 2, yeah. Well, this is Highland. This is you didn't see outside though, what it looks like. We have Jackie! Yay! Okay, great. Okay, this is before going to kill the dog. The fields near you are watered by a canal that gets in the water. Okay. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to run around these walls. Sometimes I'll say something. Okay. Yes, no. We're gonna take a little break. I'll be back after uh, the break and we'll uh, look around the wasteland. There's other uh, towns to go to. And we need an engine, I guess, for this place. Stay tuned. Less time in the studio. He was never the same. Consider Man with Dog. Ultima Exodus for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Once you start playing, nothing else matters.
an increasingly important word in the atomic and hydrogen age. The facts from federal civil defense tell us that fallout could hurt you, might even kill you. Well, what about it, mister? What is this fallout stuff? Fallout is nothing more than particles of matter in the air made radioactive by nuclear explosions. Sooner or later, however, they settle to Earth. This is fallout. And it can be very dangerous if you don't know what to do about it. Well, do you know what to do about it, Grandpa? Not yet, young man, but I will. There are four major characteristics of an A-bomb or H-bomb explosion. They are blast, heat, initial radiation, and residual radiation. All this clear so far, sister? Sure, but you've talked about fallout from enemy bombing. Our government very carefully tests only small nuclear devices in the United States. So these are the facts that should reassure and encourage you. Be ready to assist in defense preparations in your community if your help is needed. For fallout is only one fallout. One fallout. One. here and maybe do a couple of levels just one level I don't know I think this is the edge of the map you see miles and miles of endless wasteland you decide that further progress would be as hard as to be built this is it oh a mutant four mutants okay yeah let's do this <clears throat> Yeah, the movement there is just, it helps really to give it life more than the eye resolution, no, way more. This is really nice. I never saw that because I played with the, the by default, it just uh, puts you in high res mode with the filters. Which at the at the, the, the time I thought it was fine, but I have changed. Okay, attack, 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 and I think I'll evade with Jackie. 11 points of damage, killing it. 6 points of damage, 16 points of damage. Um, yeah, Dwayne Hicks got hit a lot. Everybody got hit a lot. It's a, kind of an hard encounter, but let's let's do this. Attack, 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 attack. No, uh, attack, 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 evade. Okay, LM, Dwayne, Kyle got some XP. Cool. Where is the XP? Do we see it? Slithering iguanas. I think those are a little easier. Um, maybe I should do a macro for attack, attack, attack. Attack. Yeah, this is easy. Whoops. Not the right macro. It's not really useful. <laughs> there you go. I could I could do a, a macro for attack, attack, attack. 
attack evade. Then yes. <laughs> there you go. It'll be fine for the next time. Okay, there's a town there. Mm -hmm, interesting, interesting. Some kind of cave here. Can I go through this? No. And there's another thing here. Okay, I'm gonna go back around here. It is very warm. Wild canines. I said I would sleep, I didn't. Uh, let's go with F7. Okay, let's sleep a bunch. <clears throat> yeah. I think I could practice my... It is very hot. We should be fine. What's that? You see miles and miles. Okay, we're at the edge of the map already. Interesting. Oh, there's another. Wow, there's a lot of settlements. Grim Reaper. I'm dead. died because... <laughs> Interesting. There's the desert landscape. Exactly. Okay. It's the last time I saved. I thought that if any, oh, everybody needs a canteen, does Mr. Jackie has a canteen? He has one, so we should be okay, but we died, so we got to be careful about the... There's also radiation, maybe that was a problem. Safe automatically when I do this. Uh, outside, event, uh, okay. What do you say? Offer. Oh, shit, I didn't read paragraph 56. Why does it not work? Oh, fuck. This might be my fault. I kind of fiddled with the, with the config files. Because usually it would just pop. Uh, the the paragraph. I could go in <laughs> and find the freaking thing. <clears throat> Does it have it in the folder of the game? Because there's the manual, but I never saw the... That is kind of the copy protection that was in place. It came out with a huge fucking manual with a bunch of paragraphs that made kind of no sense and a bunch of them were meant to be not real. So you need to wait for them to say it, like you, you can't spoil yourself, you know? Uh, Wasteland? No, they put the manual, but it didn't put the thing, the big... Um, 
Let's see if I can find it. Uh, wasteland. For the next uh, stream, I'll, I'll just fix my uh, my uh, installation of wasteland because I went into there's a config file named wl.config, and when you enter it, it's literally a DOSBox config. And I changed a bunch of things, like I do on all my DOSBox things, so it might have been something in there. I'm gonna put it at default and see what it does. Uh, I could even try it now, but I'm not gonna do that. A wasteland a book. Uh, Paragraph. Yeah, that's weird. I don't understand that they didn't put it there. There's a manual. The manual's there. And I checked the manual. There's not... Just... No. It's not there. No. Anyway, I just find it. I just found it. It took uh, five seconds. There was... Uh, wasn't there... And I even fiddle with this one, so... <laughs> oh, that's fine. We, we've got it. 56, it says. 56. Yeah, next stream will be fine. I'm sorry. Okay, closer now. You can hear the conversation of the man you saw when you came in. Unfortunately, we don't... Uh, there's a thing here we're missing, but I, I'll just scroll up afterwards. You can hear the conversation of the men you saw when you came in. There is a short silence after each man voices his thoughts. They speak of varmints who are impossible to kill. The varmints, varmints, V-A-R-M-I-N-T-S. Varmints, not vermins. Varmints are stealing their food faster than ever before they seem to be massing a major attack. The simple weapons of the farmers are not enough to stop them. They have no idea what to do. One of them jumps as he notices you, and they all turn to face you. A stocky man they call Miguel approaches. Offer to help, ask about payment, just passing through. I'm a good guy here, I'm not gonna play evil. <laughs> and this game is all about like the rangers and their like code of honor and whatever. Offer to help. Oh, read paragraph 84, fuck. Hey, Ozzy, how's it going? Fuck. Uh... Did I have it right here? Okay. It's a, a that is the vegetable field. 84. 84. In the shadow of an enormous satellite tracking dish stands the old man, over a hundred years old, and he's still vigorous and bright and of bright eye and bright of eye. Check it out. I am the ultimate badass. Yeah. State of the badass art. You do not want to fuck with me. Hey, thanks for the host. And although he rambles incrementally at times, the farmers remove their hats as they approach and wait for him to speak. Frowning, deep in thought, he stares at what appears to be the remains of a 15 foot tail carrot. He holds a long shaft of broken metal in one hand and mumbles something about wascally wabbits that he had to beat away with his best rake. Miguel explains that you have come to help. The old man studies your weapons and tells you that he doesn't think your pea shooters will do any good against the armored varmints, but you're welcome to try. If you succeed, he wants you to come back and see him. There's something he would like to show you. Free to roam the veggie field, you head toward the carrot patch. From a distance, you hear the old man warn you. Watch out for Harry, the bunny master. Yeah, I remember the bunny master. Okay, we're, we're there. We're in the patch right now. <clears throat> it says, outside the cells booth, a group of ten men with axes, O's, rakes, and shovels snake their, shake their heads with despair. This is essentially the first uh, real mission of the game. Good night, uh, Ozzy. Have a great, uh, have a great night. Varmints. What in tarnation? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the Westcully Wabbits. 
Uh, I remember uh, leveling up a bit or doing a bunch of uh, battling here. Everybody's full. You could save. Yes, no. A wall of steel with the faint outline of a door in the center. Crudely written sign re reads Root Cellar. Desert Desert. Uh, F7? Come on, guys. <laughs> you suck. Is there a gun empty? Oh, ammo, we can sit right there. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so we need to attack, attack. Uh, load. Attack. He's almost down. Can we do a medic skill? Skill medic five must heal over time. No one. Attack, 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 killing. Yes. Killing it. 120, 180. Going in, Kyle. Okay, can I enter this place? Need to sleep a bit. I might just flush Jackie. <laughs> it's not really useful. Um, I don't think I can open this room, so... I have a crowbar. Nothing happens. Wait, the names are for turreted. This game is turreted. Did you put these names in? Hmm, that's funny that, like, you talk to one person and he says that, hey, aliens name, and the other one, hey, Terminator names. Ellen Ripley, Dwayne Hicks, Kyle Reese, and Sarah Connor. <laughs> that's aliens and Terminator. That's me, of course. That's me. Attack, attack. Attack, attack, evade. Yes. A catapult. That's a catapult, guys. Yeah, the one thing I hate about the remake is that everything is top down, so. and it's all in 3D. It could have been beautiful, and it's kind. It kind of is, but since you see everything from the top, it's it's ugly as shit. <laughs> Why? They could have just do, did a little like tilted the map or something. I don't understand why they did. It's like, what the fuck were they thinking? They weren't thinking. It was literally an half-ass job, and it looks like it. Yeah, there's a remastered version of this game. They use the engine of Wasteland 2, which might be the same engine as Wasteland 3, I don't know. And they made this, they, they kind of ported this game into that engine. But I didn't want to play that version, I don't trust that version at all. It 
brutalizing the lizard brutalizing the lizard one of the some of these descriptions are really cool <laughs> Hammers the lizard. 120, 120, 60. Nice and good. Uh... Okay, let's radio in. Yeah. Quite enough, not quite enough, not quite enough, not quite enough. Let's sleep a little bit. What is this? A wooden, a heavy wooden door reinforced with steel defies you to open it. <laughs> Let's do uh, some lock picking. Use Kyle skill pick lock. Easy. Who wants to look Ellen? A crowbar and some fruits. Fuck that. Could I open this? Um, this is not where I need to go. What we're gonna do? I'm gonna do this. Use Kyle skill. Pick lock. You scratch the door. But it still defies you. It defies you. You scratch the door. Well, I'm gonna create a macro for this. Uh, let's do it the F6. Use skill pick lock. Oh, we're back here, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, no, we're doing our mission. What is this? A large satellite tracking dish aimed to the north. The white metal struts and plates shine as if they were new. Peas the size of bowling ball lie on the ground in pods. Unusually hairy peaches, much larger than normal. Four foot tall peers. Pleasingly plump. Okay. <clears throat> Four foot. It's <laughs> a good start. Four foot tall peers, pleasingly plump, perfectly prepared, possibly to plummet perilously from their precariously perches and pummel any passing pedestrian to a pasty putrid pulp. See that this game uses the same uh, kind of humor, not the same kind of humor, but but humor, uh, like Fallout. Hey, Argvini, I, I didn't I didn't see you there. You blended. I don't know why all my everything is green here. The graphics in this game remind me of graphic adventure game builder. <laughs> uh, graphics adventure game builder. Yeah, it's kind of like the Ultima, the classic top-down with your little character. You have entered the green Sequoia Broccoli Forest. The 30-foot tall stalks tower over your puny human body. <laughs> I've entered the Sequoia Broccoli Forest. <laughs> As you approach, a possum mass for an attack and waddle, to waddle towards you. You choose to... Attack and evade which group? Oh, yeah, groups. Oh, okay, there's groups. I'm fucked. Attack one, attack one, attack one, attack one. Evade. Yes. Killing it, killing it. Misses. Da two points of damage. Fine. Okay. Attack. Boom. Okay, these are super easy. Brutalizing. Who brutalized it? Mm -hmm. 
Giant tomatoes, hopefully not of the killer variety. Wheat, a lot of it. Oh! Oh, that's why two groups. Now we see there's one of these two groups. The one on the left, the one on the right. One is one prairie dog and the other is three prairie dogs. Attack the one. But they're both at two feet. It kind of doesn't... Brutalize it. I, I, I think it's because of the brawling skill. Well, attack this, but you can attack the second part, maybe. Come on, you can kill it. Ah, oh, guys, you suck. Wow. They have no ammo, these two. That's why. And load, load, It doesn't say in the description there, it should say the gun clicks empty or something. Four desert lizard appear. Oh, on top of that, they just appeared. Really? Are you kidding me? They're not there, they're not in the groups. They're at 20 feet, so maybe I can't attack them. There they are. Oh, he can attack it then because of his guns. Two, attack. Two, invade. Yes, come on. Killing it, yay! Attack, attack, attack. Two, attack, two. Evade. Yes. Wow. We suck. In range, okay. So, yeah, I could her run in, but no, fuck it, part the whole fucking part. Big beam. <laughs> it says that in the description. Why? I don't know. Unconscious. Oh, that's cool. So I'm gonna use my medic skill. Use skill because you can do that in combat. Fire. Attack, attack, attack. Whoa. Ah, shit. When you escape, it just cancels everything. Uh, use skill medic on Jackie. And then attack, reload, attack. Yes. I guess the number of ammo in that gun is very annoying. Even if it does. You didn't help Jackie. 
Oh, Jackie is now at... Uh, Killing it, killing it. I think there's only one left. Calories 380 uh, experience point, that's nice. Save, yes. No. What is fine? Let's go to the radio. Nope. Okay, this is the wheat. What's this? Spuds, freshly unearthed potatoes, which watch you with their eyes. And three foot tall black rats race toward you with gleaming eyes and radar sharp teeth. Okay. Yeah, the first group. Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. Hey, US Scrooge. Or you Scrooge. Thanks for the follow. Welcome. Attack. Attack, attack, attack. Okay, bye. Perfect. Yeah, there you go. Killing, killing. Boom, boom. Everybody dies. Carrots lay here. The Tall, fifty foot tall targets of long her long eared bunnies. A bunch of bunnies. Armored, long haired, pink and white lumps of fur are hopping around here. A wall of pink eyes pops up in front of you. A bunch of bunnies. Bunnies. <laughs> it's the same graphic as. Yeah, they, they, they have about like. 100 portraits like that, there's a like fixed number or something. You would think a hundred is a lot or the number is it might be it might be more forty but it goes quick. Like we've we've seen maybe ten. <laughs> like the kid or a guy uh, the bunnies the mutants uh, the shopkeeper the dog it goes fast. Okay Attack. One attack, one attack, one attack, one. Evade, yes. So instead of attacking one of the bunnies, we attack groups of bunnies. Uh, like grenades would attack the whole group. If you burst fire with some of your weapons, it's gonna attack the whole group for a lot of damage. I'm gonna explain the burst weapons when we'll get there. <laughs> okay, I need to reload uh, Kyle Reese. He continues to attack with his gun, but with the. Um, like, as a melee weapon. I think it still uses the. the melee weapon stats. I'm not sure. Uh, load attack. What? E. Exploding it like a blood sausage. That's a classic uh, quote from this game. To approach a possum mass for an attack and model towards you. Attack. I don't know, let's attack the second one.
my skill you uh, worked. Disciples of Steel, nope. I don't even know. I don't think I know what it is. Disciple of Steel. Hmm. I'm gonna look it up while we uh, <laughs> while we sleep. Disciple of Steel. I feel it's more recent, 94. Um, yeah, Some permit many holes surrounded by packed hurt. Uh, an armored sentinel with brown fur spots you and barks an alarm. It's a bunch of Kirby dogs. This still works even though now there's no. Um, so my macro that was attack one, attack one, a one, a one, a one, a one, evade, yes. And even though now there's no, uh, there's only one group. It just uh, ignores the one. No, no, no. It's it's there. Yeah, yeah, it's there because you created. I can draw a box. You're gonna create. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, it's there because in DOS box you mount a folder. So if you create a folder on your C DOS box and you point it there, and in that DOS box uh, folder you mount that as the C of your DOS box instance. You install Windows in there. Windows will be C DOS box Windows. So you'll get your directories. DOS box is so well made and so easily integrated in any Windows. So it's an emulator, but since it uses the same freaking files as as our e even recent PCs, well, Kyle got all the XP on that. Uh, let's see if he. You might have leveled up. Yeah! Cal Reese has achieved the rank of Private First Class. You get two adventure, po adventure points to distribute among your stats. Um, it is very recommended to upgrade your IQ because IQ are skill points. Mm. Um, but we can we can max that easily at 23 uh, maybe for now I won't go for IQ because I don't need skill points I have many skill points in the bank I might go with dexterity that might help this character more he really has a shitty uh, shitty agility That's, that might be why he gets hit a little bit more. Mm. 
No, IQ is just important. In the manual it says it's very important. It's one of the important stats. But you max it at 23. If you really want to max it, you don't need to. I mean, 20 is fine. And then you can put more uh, points uh, elsewhere. But all in all, all these stats are not super important. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna go with Dex. He already has high Dex, so he's gonna have very high Dex. 6-6. Six, six. Because what happens is... I think it, it it's more broken than Fallout. Uh, it's the bonuses that intelligence does. It's a little too big. Uh, in this game, like, if I want skill points, I need to upgrade my IQ. So if I have 20 IQ, I get 20 skill points, I use my 20 skill points, and that's it. That's all the skill points I have. If I want more skill points, I need to buy IQ, so... It's good, but like it costs you a lot. And the skill is not great in this game. You don't need all those skills. There's a lot of useless skill here. And all the skills can be upgraded by using them. So yeah, you can upgrade your skill, but level 1 is 1 skill point, level 2 is 2 skill point, level 3 is 4 skill point, and then 8 skill point, fuck that. You're never gonna use 8, eight skill point would be 8 of your maximum 23 skill point. You can only have 23 skills, essentially, in this game, it seems. I've played uh, Fallout as a dummy on stream. It was a challenge of me. I did, never did that. And it was quite fun, by the way. I would recommend it. Uh, if you played uh, Fallout... Uh, normally, as a high IQ character, high intelligence, playing as a low intelligence character is quite, quite, quite fun. I, I went like all in melee weapon, brute, so it was like strength, endurance, and no charisma, no intelligence. Uh, I think even no agility. Uh, it was kind of weird. No, 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 you don't need high intelligence in, uh, in Fallout. No, no, no. You need to concentrate on, on your strength. Like, fuck skilling, fuck your skills. Dude, it's, it's all about bashing the heads and <laughs> the heads and... Hey, Charman! Okay, so that guy will be able to uh, level his skill up, which is kind of nice. Uh, let's save. Yes. No. Low weapon skill. Ah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but you just put all your skill points in there and they'll be maxed out in a minute. Like I said, you just ignore all the skills when you're playing a low intelligence character. I think you should be fine. I think I did it and like it wasn't a low intelligence character, but in Fallout uh, 3. Uh poop. Yeah, exactly. But it, it's kind of logical. If you're not intelligent, you're gonna be relying on all the other stats, which are important. I mean, strength is good, uh, endurance is quite nice. I usually endurance is usually my dumb stat where I, I I tank endurance and I just put like I like playing characters with low HP. It's not recommended. It's just is if you want to play a low intelligence character or medium intelligence character you're not gonna be able to to do a lot of things but if you don't spread out you'll be able to I don't know play a, a fighter that is good at pick lock pick lock and maybe another skill not really the other ones like forget all the other ones
But Fallout 3 is not great with the skills. I think there's not enough of them. Like if they removed a bunch of skills that were cool in the first uh, first follow. I don't I never play that because I find them boring. I'm gonna play Morrowind by the way, just after this. <laughs> just after Wasteland, I'm super excited about that. I keep thinking about it. The music of Morrowind is always in my head. Um, I'm looking at the character that I want to... Uh, this is fucking wrong. Oh, it's because these guys are not doing any damage. We're still doing damage with Elaine uh, and Dwayne. Attack, attack. Load, load. Oh, Jack is unconscious. So, use, skill, medic. No, you know what? I'm gonna do that for Dwayne. No. Kyle, because he's level 2. Use, skill, medic. And Jack. Attack. No. Ah, fuck. Attack, attack. Use skill medic on Jackie. You load. Yes. Wow. So I'm gonna play a mage because I don't like playing fighter because it's not interesting, it's not problem solving. Playing a mage is problem solving, even though you're not even solving like a quest problem. It, it might be how do I get my magic up? Why? Uh, I need this this magic to be able to do this so like my quest will just be getting that magic or getting that ring that gives me more intelligence so I'll be able to cast the spell more efficiently and like oh I have a, a, an enemy in front of him I need to think about how I'll tackle him I can't just bash him in with my sword I need to do I just invisible pass and fuck him or um, you know just shield myself and attack him with my sword or, or just go all uh, all in with some magic and what kind of magic is it resistant to something that thing I don't know and I'm thinking to go like I, I, I think I'm gonna go like all in uh, mage and a atronach mage I think is the name uh, the atronach sign where you you don't regenerate magic when you sleep you can only uh, you only Absorb damage. Oh yeah, that's a lot of XP. Oh, there's gonna be some level up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This music, I feel like, is the first time I hear it, but it's impossible. It must have went through the whole. Uh... Yeah, and and at first I was like, oh, I'm gonna go with the dark elf because I like playing dark elves, just because I like playing dark elves. Um, with going all in mage but going with the mage sign or something like that more reserved and then I looked at the Atronach sign and I was like oh wow that's cool and then I, I looked at the I elf and I was like oh wow I elf gives you another times two intelligence bonus so my my dark elf mage that I had started with 40 magicka now I start with the high elf with the Atronach uh, uh, sign with 200, no, yeah, 220 something magicka. It's like, it's an all other uh, level. But I'm weaker to magic, I'm, I'm weaker to magic, but I have a 50% chance of absorbing it, so it kind of, it doesn't balance out. It's still, I am still. Uh, a glass cannon. I like playing glass cannon characters. Really? Fuck. Three foot tall black rats race toward you with gleaming eyes and razor sharp teeth. Uh, let's go. The HP is really bad. I need to sleep. Come on. Okay, I'll need, I need to change weapon for uh, Kyle, because it's just annoying. Oh, we're done. Yeah, I'll just do that right now. Okay, Kyle... You won the 9mm pistol equip. 
and you want to sleep in it. I think a club is also uh, a brawling weapon. Maybe the crowbar, I'm not sure. No, that's not how what you do. You do club. Huh? Oh no, I need to. The UI is a little bad. Let's get used to it, it's not so bad. But. Okay. I, I'm not getting used to it. You look up as a giant banana peel slaps you to the ground, Jackie. One point of damage. Oh fuck. What the fuck's going on here? I think I need to go up there. Wow, that's not annoying at all. Oh, perception skill. Kyrie's raises perception kill just by. Oh, that's cool. Leap side with barely avoiding a giant pineapple that plows deeply into the crown where you were standing. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna do that a little bit just to um, to level up some stuff. Oh, the only one who can level up this stuff is him. Because he's level two. He made, so he leveled up his perception like immediately. What about his pick lock? Still at level one. Perception level two. No. Use Kyle skill pick lock up. You know, I gotta say, I like the collection of PC game box you've got behind you. Yes, and you can look at these box by paying nanites, which are the channel points. Yeah, that's why I kept them. I'm a big nostalgic guy. I was a big nostalgic guy before I was nostalgic. <laughs> at 16 years old, I was like, oh, I need those boxes. Because I know someday I'll, I'll regret not, not keeping them, you know. Your sharp senses detect the movement of a large white object moving among the thick stalks of a deranged farmer appears at 30 feet. Oh, I remember you. LAPD. <laughs> so you shouldn't focus on these, sometimes these, um, I guess not LAPD, it's just, they just use that um, character portrait for that. It's a deranged farmer. Just imagine he has like a, a farmer hat. Um, I don't think you can hire this guy or anything. I think you can just attack him and there's no problem, I think. No one's within range. Where are we? <clears throat> I just remember I need to kill a, a giant rabbit somewhere. He runs away. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't. I, I can't remember if it's just... Eventually just by running around here you, you find a rabbit. Or what. I will end the stream uh, pretty soon. Oh, unconscious. Time to use my skills. Uh, attack. Use skills medic on Jackie. Attack, attack. Yes. I'm gonna put this faster. There we go. Ah, oh, 
fuck. <laughs> What's not doing this? <laughs> it's him. Uh, use skill medic. Improving. I'm late. Yeah, we're pretty much, uh, I'm pretty much done. Uh, I'm just running around here getting some XP. It's going well for now. No real problem. Only one guy has leveled up, which is kind of annoying. Can you see XP? Adventure points. <laughs> Two adventure points for Dwayne. Dwayne. Hmm. Let's go with some strength, maybe? I don't need IQ for now. We'll need it later. Or more dexterity. Let's go with strength. We're pummeling for now, so... Yeah, two points in strength. I want guy, one guy that can smash through doors. Bunnies. Oh, we need to reload. A large farmer is walking around among the green leaves of this carrot patch. Sensing your approach, he stops moving and watches you with his ominous eyes, filled with hatred for you and your kind. This is Harry, the Bunny Master. Uh oh. Okay, this is like the boss of this dungeon. <laughs> hey, that's cool, we're gonna finish with the boss. That's fine. Harry! Oh my god, yeah, these animation. Why did they remove that for eye res? Who gives a shit about eye resolution? When the guy, you can't see his hand do that. Okay, my health is not great though. My health is not great. Attack. Uh, the bunnies first or Ari? Sure. Uh, 
Um, let's attack Ari. Let's see, babe. I don't want to give you any XP. <laughs> I want to see what happens here. Brutalize area for 1 point of damage, and then we brutalize for 3 points. Bunny bounds it to. And Bunny bounds it to 1.16 points of damage on Sarah Connor. And Sarah Connor is unconscious. Fuck. No, I was debating playing it, Lars, but. I uh, I decided not to. <laughs> I would have had to buy it, which I didn't want to. It was like fucking 20 bucks. I think uh, someone said it's 10 bucks on Steam right now. Fuck it, it's 10 bucks to... Uh, I already had that this game, and I honestly prefer it. I don't really like what they did with the remake. It could have been a good remake, but it's a bad remake, I think. Like it's not, it doesn't destroy the game or anything. I just think it's a bad remake. Uh, so with Kyle, I'm gonna use our skills of medic on Sarah. Yeah, the bunnies are no problem. It's only one damage. Uh, and then we play Amor's Ari for 12 points of damage. Holy shit. Bunny, 5 points. Now we have Jackie unconscious. That's not so bad. Hey! I see 3 Lion! Thanks for the raid! <laughs> hey, hello everyone. This is Camilio, and welcome to the Retro Gaming Junction. <laughs> Good luck, yes, yes. Uh, attack, Harry, attack, Harry. I'm gonna use some medic skills on Sarah. Maybe I should just attack him. Sarah's improving. Okay, attack, 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 attack. Yes. Hammers the Harry. <laughs> Hammers the Harry. The Harry pounces on <laughs> the Harry. Skill uh, to level two, nice. Six point of damage. Nice, thirteen points of damage. <laughs> Shit. Exactly. Hey, Ellen Ripley, Dwayne X, which is Corporal X and Aliens, Cal Reese and Sarah Connor. Come on, this is the dream team. <laughs> Harry is no joke. Yeah, and I wasn't prepared. My my uh, my constitution, my my HP was like at like ten when I came in. Uh, attack! Yeah, I'm gonna go all out. I think we're gonna die. Oh, I could just run. Yeah, fuck. I'm done. I'm just gonna run here. Yeah, this game is not so bad. Ah. I fucking killed him. I fucking killed him. Did I? I killed him. Hmm.
Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, you can attack Jackie. <laughs> We did it guys and I was really badly damaged. I, I I was sure I had to reload that. Four eighty XP on who? Uh, how can you go up here? Fuck. The green leaves a large farm. <laughs> oh sorry, I read that earlier. Okay, let's save. Let's radio in. Not playing the cannon party! Who, who, who plays the cannon party? This is my cannon. <laughs> okay, uh, I think I'm gonna go with Dex for her for now. I almost want to put in... You can also put in Max Khan if you want. You get two points of max constitution per level, and you can put two more if you want to. Um, no, 16 charisma might just, I'll just stay there. Fuck that. More dexterity to be able to hit. That's important. So I think Sarah is kind of due in terms of like, uh, she's still a private. All the other ones uh, are private first class. So what's in this uh, this uh, thing? Let's do it with Ellen. <laughs> Eight cash. Okay. The old man is pleased to see that you have killed Harry. His destruction will de demoralize the remaining varmints. A holiday will be declared in your honor. Farmers cheer nearby, murdering the cute little animals. <laughs> As rescued their major as rescued their major food supplies. <laughs> yeah. In Might and Magic, especially Might and Magic C. Hey true Quaker, how's it going? Long time no see. Bonjour les amis. <laughs> hey hey, I was just about to wrap up the stream. <laughs> Thanks for dropping by. Uh, yeah. uh, let's save again. Ah, oh, there you go. Let's kill these bunnies. But yeah, I love this game. I love Wasteland. It's just fun. It's just a fun game. They knew how to make fun game back in the day. <laughs> Bonjour les amis, à la prochaine! Bye bye! Come on, Sarah! I need you to level up! <clears throat> okay, so now. Nah, stay safe! Yeah, we'll stay safe. Tomorrow we will be continuing StarCraft! Brood War, uh, we're at the last mission of the Protoss campaign, which is the first campaign of the expansion. And afterwards, we're gonna jump into the Terran, which I'm pretty excited about. I like the Terran more than the, the Protoss. The Protoss might be the one I like the least. And if you want more Wasteland, it's gonna be on Tuesday. Sorry, on Monday. Monday. I'm all fucked up with the days. I'm sure it's the same for everyone. And two days from now, we are Saturday. Uh, yeah, usually I don't stream right now. Uh, I stream pretty much every day at 8 p.m. Eastern time, uh, except on Saturdays, but uh, I switched Friday with the Saturday stream. So yesterday I didn't stream, but we started Wasteland today. We are going to raid... Uh... Who, who is going to be raided? Really? Really? 
Wow, Aaron Stone is playing Daggerfall. He usually plays recent games that have kind of a retro feel. I haven't seen him play a retro game for a while. And since I'm gonna play Marwin, it's just a fitting thing that I... Uh, that I raid him. Like, as much as I like Wasteland, I hope it, it, it goes by quickly and I finish it quickly. So that's it for tonight guys, tomorrow 8pm Eastern Time for more StarCraft and the day afterwards, Monday 8pm Eastern Time for more Wasteland. Remember to have fun guys, stay safe, don't do anything stupid, think with your head and think about uh, people around you. Remember to have fun, peace!